Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have Blowback, version 2 from Action Force Valiverse. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, shout out to E-Collectibles, best place to get Action Force figures in Canada. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. As you can see, there's some texture type of OD green, Valiverse logo, blowback, Action Force logo. And as you can see, there's a nice window packaging here. You got the figure, you got two extra heads. We'll take a look at that later on the video. And this first type of accessory, gun case. And on this side of the packaging, you can see some really cool artwork of blowback wearing his ghillie suit with the sniper rifle you got the action force faction symbol and on this side of the packaging the exact same thing and on the back of the packaging you have a file card here blowback action force logo and you have some nice figure photography of blowback wearing his ghillie suit with the sniper rifle five action points as this is a deluxe figure you got the qr code it actually goes somewhere you got the action force logo and the social media boring stuff on the bottom so i have my trusty scalpel here let's go ahead and open up this package and take a look at blowback we'll do a comparison later on in this video with blowback version one i am excited to take a look at this one There we go. And it looks like the ghillie suit is taped on the inside here. That's unique. There's the ghillie suit in the package. Quick shot of blowback in the plastic. Take a look at that. So just give me a moment, I'll take the figure out of the plastic. So I got all the accessories and the action figure all out of its packaging and then behind the sniper rifle case there is some instruction on how to put the ghillie suit on. That is freaking cool. Thank you very much for that, Bobby. That is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. All right, so first off, we have some uh, communications device that uh, plug into the helmet, all done in OD green and black on the inside. And we have another communication device here that's basically, uh, we've seen this before in the line and it just goes over the head. Same color and the uh, same little microphone. So with all Action Force figures, they come with a bunch of hands, two of each, two holding hands, two fisted hands, two cup hands, and default trigger fingers on the action figure itself. And they're done in this awesome OD green. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the weapon. This is awesome. It has three different paint applications on it. Very awesome. A scope, removable magazines, like all Action Force weapons do. This is freaking awesome. And we have his helmet. Again, two-tone, two types of green. He got the ear protection. Blowback comes with three heads. These are the two extra ones. One balaclava head with the wicked camouflage deco on it. And you got a plain face here. He looks like he's just kind of wide-eyed. He has black hair. You got the green camouflage that goes all over his face and in on his ears even <laughs> he has these blue eyes you could see the paint application on his eyebrows really awesome and here is the case with the sniper rifle in it and it looks like they kind of just kind of clip in here a little loosely which is cool they don't fall out which is really good I love the sniper rifle Let's go ahead and take that out and take a closer look so as you can see there is a bipod here that's kind of uh, closed up a little bit really awesome camouflage deco on this weapon you got a scope on it very cool and a port for blast effects so the sniper rifle just kind of pegs in here or kind of with friction between these two kind of uh, bars that are opposite sides of each other you have a Another bipod that's open here, and you got a spotter type of um, device here, which is, this is awesome. 
I like that. If I can remember which way to put it in. <laughs> I think it went in upside down. So this is done in kind of like a sandy, kind of desert color. You can see the uh, cover on the uh, lens uh, in black. Very cool, nice little detail. And we have this articulated type of bipod. This looks really awesome. Wow, cool. And it kind of like opens and closes. And that fits right in, just like that. Very cool. And you can go ahead and just close it up. Boom. Check out the case. Has some nice kind of details on it. Just done in this kind of OD green. And it got a handle. And like all Valiverse action figures, they all come with figure stands with four pegs and a slot for his file card. And this is done in this OD green. And lastly, with the accessories, we have the ghillie suit here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I'm looking forward to uh, putting this on the figure. So it looks like there are kind of uh, kind of soft, good kind of straps that go around the figure's arms and legs. And we got the hood here. Very cool. Take a look at that. That looks like real uh, kind of fauna, <laughs> if that's a word. Looks like a lot. Looks like vegetation or moss. Very cool. And it's uh, it's a little thin, but you can still feel the the. The stretchiness and the the quality of this is really cool. And it looks like there's a little bit of material that fell off, making a little bit of a mess here. So before we look at the figure, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, make a comment down below. It would be very appreciated. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Let's take a look at this head sculpt. And I was curious, what's the difference between this head sculpt and the other one? So let's go take a closer look at the two different head sculpts here and the difference between them. And I see the one on the figure has one eye closed. That is awesome. And the other one is really wide-eyed. <laughs> and by default, on the action figure itself, there is a removable knife. And we'll have a comparison later on in this video with Wellback version 1. We have removable magazines. We have a sidearm here. In the holster by default very cool take a look at that OD green and black port for blast effects like usual and it feels like I'm reviewing the same figure over and over again so the only difference between this and version 1 obviously is the extra heads but the this is the newest part of this figure is the one eye closed but all in this really awesome camouflaged deco which is really cool and this is the whole reason why I wanted to get this figure because of the uh, hit and run type of paint applications on this figure and guess what we'll have hit and run comparison later on in this video so as you can see all the camouflage goes all the way around his legs uh, the antenna is uh, on this figure by default and it got a little bent when I was pulling out the figure unfortunately but luckily it did not break so just be aware of that very nice deco on the vest itself very cool done in green and kind of the sandy color got some cool type of green boots green knee pads and We'll take we'll over the articulation just a little quick. We got some butterfly joints. And like I was saying, like all these Action Force figure reviews is if you want to articulate this, I would highly recommend heating it up to get the joints moving and you shouldn't have any problems. So we got double jointed pinless elbows, double jointed pinless knees. You got all the articulation you would ever want except for the neck ball joint, which is only one but later on in series five. I'm really excited for series five with the new bodies and new bucks, but this is awesome. So let's go ahead and gear up blowback. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna put on the ghillie suit. Um, I took a quick look at the instructions of what to do here. I'm pretty sure you put his arms in first. I think that would be the most logical way of doing it. 
and this might be a little tricky so I might speed this up because <laughs> it might take a little bit of time to put this uh, ghillie suit on and some of the material is coming off unfortunately Right, so there you have it guys I have his ghillie suit on looks pretty cool I don't think this would fit if he had a backpack but uh, it would be a lot bulkier and I don't think the helmet actually fits very well um, with the ghillie suit on but that fits on just 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 fine put him on his figure stand so what do you guys think? Do you think this ghillie suit looks cheap? I heard some rumblings on the internet that it was cheap. But, uh, you know, it's very delicate, like I was saying. It's, it's not the most durable thing in the world. You know, it, it's... Uh, but it looks like... A, it looks like what... You know, it looks like a ghillie suit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a comparison with Blowback version 1. So here's a comparison of Blowback version 1. He has a slightly different tactical vest. As you can see, he has a med pack here on version one and, and he has and he has the magazines. But everything else is pretty much the same except, you know, some of the print on version one. You can see the Action Force um, logo here. Same knife. And on version two here, you can see he has a belt uh, with the holster as opposed to version one who has a thigh holster. And a secondary holster with magazines in it. And they both have the same communications uh, antenna on the back of the vest. So this head is probably the same exact head that's on version 1. We'll do a little comparison there. I'm fairly certain. It's hard to tell with this paint job that's on version 2 of Blowback. So let's arm him up with his rifle. And I'll have some glamour shots at the end of this video holding his sniper rifle. So for this, I just want to put his rifle in his hand just like this. So like I was saying, it's probably easier just to heat up this figure in order to have better articulation and easy to, easily to move around. But so far, so good. I didn't really have to heat up this figure. Uh, joints move very well. So why not break out Hit and Run, since this is probably one of the inspirations for Blowback version 2. And uh, the only thing that's in common with both these, they have camouflage on their face and all over their body. Hit and Run's loadout is a little different. He has a little bit of a different uh, tactical vest. But I can definitely tell the inspiration uh, for Blowback is Hit and Run for sure. And I just uh, I don't want to break out any excuse to uh, bring out a G.I. Joe to do a comparison. It's just in my nature. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to thank all my subscribers. You guys rock. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And it's time for action.